So could we have a cure for diabetes? Is that realistic? Is it on the horizon? Well, yes, we could. And by that I mean type 1 diabetes. This is diabetes which is, which is a result of the failure of the islets of the pancreas to produce insulin in response to an intake of sugar. And this is uh, increasingly common and we find it in children um, and it lasts throughout life. Diabetes is a terrible disease if it's not properly treated and even if it is, has multiple medical problems. The body is just not designed for high sugar levels and when the sugar levels are high we see all kinds of changes. Uh, we see uh, vascular damage, that's damages to the small blood cells and that uh, blood vessels and that can result in, in things ranging from blindness to impotence to uh, kidney failure. Uh, we see uh, problems of infection because bugs love sugar. So we see wounds that just don't heal. Uh, we can find uh, gangrene at, at, the, at the extremities of, of toes, for example. Um, all kinds of major problems. We, uh, the, the, uh, the rate of heart disease is much higher, strokes are much higher. So diabetes is not good news. You want to treat it carefully, you want to treat it well, and really, you want a cure. That's what you want. And along comes the, ste the stem cell story, the adult stem cell story. And this is involving the transformation of cells within your own body which you are therefore not going to reject into cells which are capable of reproducing insulin when your blood sugar goes up and there have been various attempts to do these kinds of things um, both uh, using uh, embryonic cells uh, fetal cells and now adult stem cells and people like Professor Slack at Bath University have been uh, progressed for, uh, all kinds of technologies for quite a while uh, using things like tadpoles um, and, uh, and now working to, 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 uh, to do the same things as small mammals um, in using in a test tube procedures to uh, make liver cells human liver cells convert into insulin secreting cells now these things are all fascinating but even if you develop these cells the question is where do you put them in the body one of the easiest places to put them in fact is inside the liver but that's a challenge because if those cells are, those clusters of cells are not only producing insulin in response to sugar but also pancreatic juice then you could land up with the equivalent of pancreatitis but within your own liver. Now that would mean digesting your own liver which would be a terrible thing to happen. That's a major risk which is why we need to take great care. Nevertheless, large numbers of people are working on these things and we can expect all kinds of very interesting new, new steps in treating a diabetes which will involve living cells producing insulin for longer or shorter periods, it may be something that only lasts three months, who knows. It might be cells that are donated from a cell line, uh, it could be cells from the person's own body, uh, but uh, we will see insulin being produced inside the body as a direct result of sugar rising. Now that is a much more sophisticated approach than any amount of biological, um, uh, technological machines where you've got um, capsules that store insulin that are released by some nanotech device into the body uh, as a result of um, some uh, mechanical processes. Really, that's, that's history. Um, we don't want to see that kind of thing. What we want is a cellular cure. And that, I think, is what we will get. Now, the situation is rather different for what we call type 2 diabetes which is where the body has become resistant to insulin it's not that you don't produce it it's just that your cells don't seem to behave in the way that they ought to and dealing with type 2 insulin will be much more complicated but the good news is that type 2 insulin is caused largely by a question of body bulk so it's much more common in those who are clinically obese they're overweight and that itself produces this tendency to type 2 diabetes and most people with type 2 diabetes if it's mild can be controlled on diet alone or I, I, that means losing weight to put it bluntly getting the weight back down to an optimal level and then finding that the blood and the sugar disappear uh, the, sorry, the, 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 the sugar in the in the urine disappears um, the the uh, the blood levels of sugar uh, become relatively normal so it's a long haul, it's a very serious issue because one in three of all newborn babies born in America today are likely on current trends to develop 
type 2 diabetes uh, when they are adults, some of them even as children. So it's an issue which is already costing $100 billion a year to the United States economy, and that's just one country. So watch this space. We're going to see a lot more investment in diabetes for the future.